金色ラブリッチェ December 10th, Sunday. Elle's championship was only a week away. Which meant we only had one week left of our pretend relationship. Maybe we still had another week would be a better mindset. Either way, ah, it had to be today of all days. I won't get to see Elle. I didn't regret telling her that I loved her yesterday, but yesterday may have been horrible timing. Today was the only day this week that I didn't have plans to see Elle. I could see Elle at school during the week and when she attended club meetings on her days off. But since they were going to use the martial arts dojo for an entire day next week, this just so happened to be the day the fencing club couldn't use the campus whatsoever they had the day off, in other words. It was the one day I couldn't see her. Talk about crappy timing. Mm, ah, well, you know. Huh? How should I handle this? I'd love to talk about what had happened yesterday, and I didn't want to keep it all to myself. Would it be alright tomorrow? I guess there was no real difference between today and tomorrow, but. I would have to spend all day in a state of distress. Ah. Ak. What are you rambling about? What do you base that on? What's in Ro? Eek, my magistrate! Arena had sussed me out. I told you nothing. ウソだね。ま、どうせあれでしょ。あのおっぱいに目がくらんでついついてが伸びちゃったとかでしょ。エロいなはエロいなとか言いながらあのビッグブレストビッグブレストは静かにすったりもんだりしたんでしょ。Els boobs. They sure were huge. I hadn't touched them, but I guess they had pressed up against me when we kissed. I would make those minds somehow. Wait, no, no. The second I figured out my feelings for Elle, my sexual desire sparked up too. I obviously doubt she would kill me over it. I haven't admitted anything. If I had to define it anyway. It's not like I did anything wrong. We just didn't see things eye to eye right now. The way you phrase that makes it sound like all of the nosy old ladies the world over are dead. Arena dragged me outside. Where are we going? Cops? What are we doing here? 
I got dragged along with her before I even knew what was going on. It was on the edge of town, deep in the heart of a rich neighborhood that I'd never stepped foot into. The long, seemingly endless brick building was enclosed behind a tall fence, and I briefly wondered if it were an exhibition hall of some kind. Off to the side of a gateway so gigantic it would give Noble Academies a run for its money, she had them open this teensy little door. Reina continued to literally drag me along as she calmly entered the facility and guided me deeper and deeper inside. What is this place? A dance hall? Ah, hello. That familiar older man was here. Hello, He took out grape juice for us. You could ask for anything more, it made me grateful. Is this where Sylvie and Elle live? Nope, this place is amazing. I had been curious what their home was like, but I had never been. It had this medieval feel to it, which wasn't all that surprising considering where the princess and her knight lived. I noticed a couple of appliances here and there, so it wasn't without modern conveniences. It definitely gave off the impression that sophistication was valued highly. Do you come here often? Wow. No, no, don't put yourself out for us. It actually sounded uncomfortable, so I passed on his offer. When? What? A set of hands suddenly covered my eyes. Where did she come from? <laughs> oh, now I understood what was going on. Sylvie, Elle, or... Uh, uh, who? Who is it? I can't tell. Who is it? What? She moved her hands away. I turned around. Menacing. Dwa! Some utterly humongous lady filled my view. Who is this, seriously? Uh, forget all that. Who is this? Thought, thought. She headed back from where she came from. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Why go to all that effort, though? レナが来た時出てきたらオーロマ出てびっくりしたからびっくりで返そうと思って。I guess she's still playing those Eroge, huh? Hmm? I wonder why. Was she working on some fancying related report or something? <laughs> he shot us an all knowing smile but refused to elaborate. The princess went to get her in person. Yeah, I figured as much. There were probably heaps of formal procedures involved. By the way, she had called this a quote-unquote hall, huh? 
a look in from the window and, yeah, I did see another estate far off in the distance. I couldn't see everything due to the high fence, but there did appear to be two or three estates nearby. And... Mina-chan. I ran into someone unexpected. Actually, she was probably more surprised to see us than anything else. And there she went. It was kind of embarrassing to tell our junior, who mentioned she had work, that we came over to her place to hang out. Hmm? That was when I noticed it. Minachan was going up the stairs. Even though Sylvie had gone down the corridor leading further inside to call for Elsan. I wonder where Minachan went. I said with no real aim in mind. Huh? The black suited lady gave me a look that said, What's the matter? Uh, but wait, wasn't this odd? Minachan lives here in this building. はい。あ、少々誤解なさっておられるようですね。この屋敷はソルテレージュはイスタ家の所有するベッテとなっております。故にシスワ家である神なる様はゲストという形で部屋を取っておられるのです。へ。The East family that was Els family, right? ん?この屋敷というかこの敷地の領事は ソルティレージ王室。シスワ家ではありません。イスタ家。ひいてはこの3年間は、エロいな様の所有となっております。え、それって何エルチンってむっちゃお金持ちなの Enough that she owned an estate like this? I do recall Minachan mentioned something about Elle being the daughter of a highly regarded noble family, one on par with a royal family. Elle may have been on an entirely different level than I originally thought. She was the master of an estate in which a princess like Minachan was a guest. If they didn't play their cards right, wouldn't this place her on the same level as Sylvie and Minachan? Not that I had any clue what the power balance was like for the people of Sortilège. <sighs> Minachan came down a short time later. Yeah, she is a little late. Enough time had passed for Minachan to show up, get ready, and come back, and yet there was still no sign of either El or Sylvie. Minachan went to run this errand of her own accord. She really was a great girl at heart. But she stopped in her tracks. She must have known where it was and looked in the same direction Sylvie had walked off earlier. Hmm? With a bitter look in her eyes. Hmm, why is that? Huh? Which was when those two came along. We saw Minachan off as she left for work. 
Okay, then, with that? あ、そうかったけどどうしたん家、試験、仕事です。仕事じゃないでしょ何かゲームをやっていたんじゃない。聞く。何をやっていたのあれ、女の子が今日今日いて。ああ。なんなんでもありません、姫様。とある仕事で
Well, why don't you try the hot pot soba with duck L? Yup, but you dip it into the hot pot here so it's warm when you eat it. I'm going to go with a pal soba. That way I could give you my broth and it'll be like you're eating it port style. I've always liked cold dishes, so it's fine. With that settled. Well, it's not an inedible amount. You could totally eat it all if you're in the right mindset for it. Two helpings worked out just about right to fill up Sylvie's stomach. では、ご注文繰り返させていただきます。鴨鍋そば、天ぷらかけそばが2つ。お昼の節湯そば、ザルが2つでよろしかったですか? はい。ありがとうございます。300円追加でお蕎麦10割に変更できますが、いかがですか? Yeah, soba enthusiasts go crazy for the stuff, but it's a little tough to eat. I'd rather have the standard noodles. では、私もそのままで結構です。かしこまりました。お客様はいかがなさいますかそうね。じゃあ、かけと盛り、両方2、8と10割を1つずつ、計4つ持ってきてちょうだい。はい。お願いします。The that's what matters most. A slightly appetite killing spectacle was unfolding in the corner, but. Okay, L, yours is probably ready to eat now. Only high class places have these, so it's kind of exciting even for Japanese people. The flame bound hot pot was making lovely simmering noises. The duck and leek hot pot was in good shape. Well, you would eat it like a normal hot pot, and then you could dip your soba noodles into it once it starts to get low. We'd better dig in too, munch munch. It's herring. I'd ordered the lunch combo, which included a small side of tempura, raw fish, and simmered herring. Nishin? It's a kind of fish. They've got really tiny bones and are rarely eaten, but they are fairly common at soba restaurants. It seemed herring soba left quite an impact on people. Now that I thought it through, herring soba was a real mystery. Why herring of all things? I'm sure mature adults would have it as a side with the drinks, but it's delicious enough to eat like a regular dish. It also had an exceptional reputation with foreigners. For that matter, herring was in the combination meal Sylvie ordered herself. Duck meat can be pretty fatty and adding it to the hot pot totally changes the flavor, doesn't it? Yes, 
knock it off with a repulsive to imagine fibs. In any case, L appeared receptive to everything so far and I couldn't help but feel relieved. And then, when it came to the all too vital soba, once Elle had opened up the hot pot, she dipped her noodles into the remaining broth. Slurp. Oh. Like I said before, slurping like that won't work. <laughs> oh yeah, hadn't she taken an interest in Soba itself because of some conversation about slurping? Oh. Elle was upset she wasn't able to do it well. I was sure she was teary-eyed because her throat hurt, but... どう、どういうことでしょう。麺類をすすると言う文化は元々は麺を途中で噛まない。噛んだものをお皿に戻さないという食の美意識から生まれた概念なのよ。なんと。そうな。Beats me. The princess seated beside us was better informed of Japanese cuisine customs than the actual Japanese natives. つまり。Sylvie picked up her own serving. She brought the scooped up noodles to her mouth. As she slowly slurped on them, she took the folded bundle she had picked up with her chopsticks and put it in her mouth. Beautiful. Lovely execution. If this were an anime, you'd almost expect an eruption of white lilies to pop up behind her. Even though she was eating an ordinary bowl of cold soba noodles, she had this very refined look to her. The other restaurant goers were just as captivated, even if you discounted the fact she was eating enough for four people. <laughs> Elle imitated her and ate a mouthful of bundled up noodles. Oh. What the heck? This got sighs of admiration from the other customers. Elle wouldn't be outdone when it came to manners, especially when it came to maintaining her noble, picture perfect appearance. あとはこれを慣れていけば上手にすすれるようにもなるわ。スロープスロープ。なんでシルビーは普通にすすれてるんだろう。Beats me. More importantly. How is your very first soba experience? はい。とても美味しいです。It can be pretty heavy handed though. The items she listed off were either kneaded with or made of buckwheat and could easily be found on a grocery store shelf. That would be too heavy to carry on your own, so why don't you make do with manju? じゃあ、これ系はどれもお茶菓子にいいのね。ちょっとつまむ感じでさっぱりして。へえ。で、どうだったエルチン。冷たいのと熱いのなら。コーズつけがたいですね。どちらにもそれぞれで際だった美味し
温かい方がお好きなので私はねうんエビ天がつけばどっちでもいい人おそばの本体は天ぷらだと思ってるからああ斬新な捉え方ですね That's just how common buckwheat is. It's one of its many charms. なるほど。We'd had a great time, even though we'd made this trip into a town on a whim. Most notably, the borderline fishy mood between Elle and myself. おいおい、どうしてご両人見つめちゃって。ラブラブラブラブかよ。It's not like that, honestly. a r e n a s teasing made it difficult for me to focus on the good mood Elle and I had going. I felt pretty good about it, actually. I wonder how Elle felt. Even though things had been pretty weird between us after that one sided kiss earlier. With that taken into account, I wondered how she felt now. I hadn't gotten to ask her before. Just how did she feel about me? Yeah? Were Reina and Sylvie being considerate, or was it what Elle wished for? Around the time our day was through, she and I managed to find some time alone together. Sylvie and Terena eventually made their way to the music hall, leaving Elle and me to our own devices. The academy was eerily quiet after clubs let out. It worked out perfectly for a place to talk in private. Yes. Oh, wait, I need to apologize first. Sorry, I was kind of overbearing. A sudden kisses. Yeah, haha. <laughs> well, at this point, I can't help but to wonder how it even went. Even now, I'd still like to kiss you again. <laughs> Elle turned away, looking distressed. I hesitated when I saw her reaction. I guess what happened yesterday really bothered her. I should have taken things slower. Let me say it again. I love you, Elle. <laughs> How do you feel about me? I wasn't going to suddenly kiss her again. And I wanted to make sure her feelings came first. Elle looked distraught, and her eyes darted all over as if she was searching for an answer. Not too promising, huh? Thank you very much. その気持ちはとても嬉しいですがすいません答えられません I see I expected as much but it was still depressing to hear all over again そのわ私のことにこんなに協力していただいてるのに申し訳ないこちらの身勝手ばかりあそのオーロの迷惑になるようでしたら恋人のふりというのももうシルビー様には私から言っておきますので No no that part's fine it's not a bother I consider it a perk honestly、um, I would still like to eat dinner together too Although I came across as unmanly it was the least I could do in order to make the situation more convenient for me I had been shot down completely. A clean break here and now probably would have been the cooler approach. But if it would only inconvenience her, as long as I had that excuse, I wanted to indulge in this complacency for just a short while longer. So, you got that. Luckily, Elle was delighted by it. Our own senses of complacency meshed well. There was no reason to deliberately end this arrangement. Yes. If it was only in terms of complacency, we matched up well. Huh? 
このまま続けられたらと思っています。Oh, where did this mood come from? I honestly would have been fine with Elle using me to help with her fencing if it were necessary. But maybe I wasn't just being used? 恋人のふりというのは来週日曜までとしてその後もできればこんな機会を。Hang on a second. はい。Elle, how do you feel about me? I casually asked her. I was able to ask her point blank now that I'd been turned down once already. Strange how that worked, huh? You like me, don't you? How much? I took a step toward her on reflex. I obviously knew she liked me as a friend, but based on what she just said, maybe there was more? I couldn't deny how hopeful I felt in that very moment. How much do you like me? Just like what happened yesterday, there was very little distance between us, and Elle's face was flushed bright red. Even so, she stood her ground. Come to think of it, she didn't budge yesterday either. This much? I leaned my face toward hers, giving her enough space to pull away if she wanted to. But I was careful to make that fact very clear to her. Elle pressed her lips against mine. It was the same alluring sensation as yesterday. I would have loved it if we could have stayed like this. But that wasn't important right now. Instead, I pulled away. Does that mean nothing will happen with us then? Hi. Elle had accepted the kiss itself, but did not hesitate to nod her head in affirmation. She liked me enough to give me her lips, but not enough to allow us to be as close as lovers. It was a sensibility that didn't make any sense to me. I don't know. 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 So that's what this was about. It all fit together in a sense, but it wasn't a reason a modern Japanese person like myself could accept. So it's because of your family? This honestly was like something out of medieval times. I understood what was going on now. Elle was engaged. That in and of itself was a shock to the system. But it was so like Elle to prioritize her duties above herself. I see. Sorry. The feeling of Oro was really nice. Thank you. But I can't be here. I'm here to help Isutake. I'm here to give this life to Sylvie. I'm here to give this life to Sylvie. This is the reason for me. Got it. I couldn't say anything after all that she had told me. Well, as of this very moment, she probably liked me. But I was sure that didn't mean a relationship with me would be allowed as part of her life as a knight. So then, I couldn't interfere. She was the only one who could decide what color her life would take on. After several apologies from El after what, we said our goodbyes. Huh. I got turned down, huh? There was another beautiful sunset when I looked up into the sky. It was golden. 